Hello everyone, it's Anne here and today we're going to be building a new fan for the jet engine. Um, so, this is all the bits that I need to build this new fan. Um, let me show you what they are. As you can see on the top two rows we have all the fan blades. Um, so each of these fan blades was printed individually just to make sure that they look really really nice. Um, as you can see how good you know that particular fan blade looks really shiny and then we have the annulus filler which is these small bits here and then we have the fan shaft which is that one here the winded shield so that's the winded shield this one is going to be bolted to the back of the fan disc which is that one here so this is the fan disc and you can see that it's got you know all these slots here for the fan blades to be sliding and then uh, finally we have the nose cone which is that one here the first step is to put all these fan blades into the fan disc so I'm just gonna show you how to do it you just take one fan blade and then you should be just able to slide it in um, as you can see, it's not very easy because the torrents between the uh, fan, between the root of the fan blade and the slot is really, really tight. Um, and I wanted to make it tight because once you know I fit all the blades in place, you know they should not wobble. So this is the fan disc with all the fan blades fitted. So as you can see I have managed to um, assemble all the fan blades into this fan disc. It wasn't the easiest task because I have to use the mallet to hammer every single one of them into its slot. Now moving on to the next step is going to be the annulus filler which is those small bits here. So basically what I have to do is to fit the annulus filler into the gap between each fan blade. So um, basically it's going to look like that. Let me show you. So yeah. This is the fan disc with all the annulus filler fitted as you can see and this is what it looks like at the back right the next step is we're gonna fit the windage shield which is that one to the rear of the fan disc so it'd be like that We need to fit the fan shaft to the fan, um, so it'll be like that. The very final step that you have to do is to assemble the nose cone. It's all done. This is the fully assembled fan assembly. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.